Wayne, I'd like to share about seven quick ideas for adding flavor to most any song at all. Since it's Christmas time, I was just playing Oh Christmas Tree, and one thing I was doing to add flavor was instead of using a straight uh, voicing of a primary chord such as the C chord, I used a stacked fourth voicing. In other words, instead of playing C, E, G, what I did is I started on the third, which is E, and then played the sixth, which is A, and then the D, which is the ninth, or the second, as you wish. And all I did is hit the low note, that low C down there, and then chorded that. And then when it was time to go to the next chord, I just moved my hand up, like my hand stiff, like it's frozen, and it just moved up one, like that. Watch. a lot of mileage out of songs by changing the voicing slightly by voicing in force. That's one way to do it. Another thing you can do, so let's say you were playing and you might you have a little fill. Well, you could use a blues fill out of the blues run, something like this. Just the blues scale in the key of F, since I was playing in the key of F. And the blues scale is use the flat third, the flat fifth, and the flat seventh. So I started on C, went to C flat, and then B flat, A flat, F, put my third finger off, over to E flat, C, slid off. That's another thing you can do is slide off notes, slid off uh, B flat to B, and then back, or C flat, back to B flat. A flat, F, and you can go down as, as long as you want. Watch. Okay, just a little cool uh, or groovy little blues riff is all it is. Another thing you can do on uh, smoother songs is you, well, you can use it on any rhythm. Actually, you can do straddles. A straddle is where you take a three note chord and you leave out the middle note. Okay? Instead of playing a C, E, G, for example, with a C chord, you just play C and G. You're straddling E, in other words. Like E is the white line of a, of a road, and you're straddling it. One leg on one side and one leg on the other. And then you go up to the next inversion up or the next inversion down, and you straddle there. Okay? And then you do the same thing in the next inversion. Now, it gives it kind of an open sound, doesn't it? really get some nice sounds if you do that to four notes, like here's a C major seventh chord. Now take two and straddle one, and then play the other two and straddle one. Let me give you an example. See that? Uh, for example... is do a half step slide instead of going right from like G7 to C like I did you can go you can use uh, a half step slide what's a half step above C if you know your target chord is C you can go a half step above C which is D flat and play that before you slide down to, to a C and again I'm using a voicing in force like so I just did is I did a little rapid fire uh, riff up the keyboard. Just take any chord, such as uh, let's take a C6 chord, and just uh, play it from the bottom up, and then tuck your thumb under and play it in the next octave, and the next octave, and so on. If you come down, you can get a kind of a waterfall effect, doesn't it? So on the way up, and on the way down. On the way down, what you can do is play a leader. In other words, your left hand can outline the chords like that. So that's another thing you can do. Uh, you can always redefine the melody. For example, on Silent Night, say, if you're playing Silent Night, the chord is C, but G is not, uh, I mean, C is not the only chord that G fits into, is it? It fits in the E flat chord. It fits in the E minor chord. It's in the A minor seventh chord. So just redefine the chord. Ask yourself into what other chord will this note fit. So cyanide instead of could sound like this. Like, 
playing E minor seventh. A minor seventh. E minor seventh. A minor seventh. D minor seventh. G seventh. And instead of C there, I can go to E minor. Just ask yourself into what other uh, chord this melody note will fit. By the way, you can rhythmize uh, any song and just change the rhythm a little bit and give it a freshness that it may not have. For example, joy to the Lord, the Lord is come. What if you go like this? That, that little thing was... But I got to the F chord. To the Amen, the four to the one. Obviously, I don't have time to explain these, but I'm just giving you some ideas of what you can do. Uh, so let's do that again. Changing the rhythm a little bit, maybe playing two notes instead of one note, instead of joy to the world, I'm joy. Just a little rhythm, and that adds interest to your playing. Well, I could go on and on. There's hundreds of these things, but uh, you get the idea. So hopefully uh, that'll pique your interest just a little bit. And if you uh, want to follow up on any of those, just go down and click on any of those titles that sound interesting, and you'll get the full story on them. So thanks. Bye.